What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT, my name is Ben, your host, and in today's video, I want to show you how you can lock all the applications that you have on your device using Face ID or Touch ID. So it's very easy and very simple to do, and basically what we are trying to recreate here is let's just illustrate it on whatsapp since whatsapp has this function built in so the moment i open up my whatsapp you can see that it tries first of all to scan my face id and if i uh, don't have my face id then i can unlock whatsapp using a passcode but let's try again with my face id so you can see my face id was successful and then that's when my whatsapp opens up so whatsapp has this feature built in but then not all applications have this feature built in right you can see like the photos app when you open it up it opens up at once so a lot of applications don't have this feature built in and that's what we want to do here to lock any application uh, at the moment you open it up so before i show you how this is done just keep in mind that you need to be on ios 14 or ios 15 so as you can see for me here i have my device on ios 15 so make sure you are on ios 14 or 15 the devices that you might need is an iphone 6s or newer or the iphone iPhone SE first gen or newer since they all support iOS 14 or iOS 15. So once you make sure you have the software version that is required, what you want to do is this. So the first step, you can see that this is very easy. Open up your clock application. So open the clock app and then what you want to do is go to where it says timer you can see here it says timer on the bottom right of my screen so if i go to timer and then i want to change when timer ends so click there and then go all the way down and you see stop playing so select stop playing and then click set so that is done here with the clock app if you want you can close the clock app or just leave it open it's up to you it does not affect the function of this and the next thing that you want to do now is to go into the shortcuts app so open up the shortcut app and then on the bottom of the screen right there you can see that we have a section that says automation so click where it says automation and click where it says create personal automation so let's select that and now what we want to do is select where it says app so select app and make sure is open is checked so select is open and then choose the app that you want to lock in this case for the purposes of this video we'll choose an application let's say for example the photos app so uh, let me just scroll down and look for the photos app so this is the photos app that i want to lock for the purposes of this video and then i want to click done so once i've done this i can click next and now we want to select or add an action so click there and then what you want to look for is a timer start so the best and fastest way to find this is just search it up so just put timer and select this function that says st start timer so select that and you can see that you already have preset parameters here but we want to change these so you want to select here where it says minutes you can put one and we want to change it from minutes to seconds so select minutes and put seconds right there so you've done this in case you are curious and you want to play with things around i've selected like you can even select like zero point zero zero four five uh, seconds but it won't work so for the purposes of this video the minimum supported timer is one second so make sure you select one and nothing below than one anything above works but below the minimum is one you will see what i mean when we start to demonstrate so once you've done this you can say next and now what you want to do is turn off this function that says ask before running so turn it off and then click don't ask and once you've done this you basically done so click done and you can see that your automation that you've created is now active you can delete it if you want but now let's go to the photos app and see whether it is actually locked so now 
this is the photos app that we have locked so let's open it up you can see that it opens up and it locks after like one second since we selected the automation to kick in after one second and now for me to be able to use it you can see that i need to unlock my iphone so let me scan my face and boom there you are if you want you can close the shortcuts app close the, the photos app and open it again you only get about one second and then it locks you out so you can see that this is now a good way that you can lock your applications using this face id if your device has touch id then you can always use the touch id of your device and be able to unlock any app using your touch id so that's how you do it you can see that it's very easy very simple to do and it always works as long as you set it up correctly and follow the method that i've showed you so let's say for example that's all you wanted to do so you can even end the video right here because it takes basically less than two minutes to set up all the steps that i've shown you but for the purposes of this video there are other things that i wanted to demonstrate so for example if you do not uh, lock the apps that are involved in setting this up since for example we know that in order to set this up you need to go through the clock app so you need to make sure that uh, you select stop playing if anything else is selected let's say for example radar and we'll set this and if we open up the photos app you can see that after one second the the tone plays it no longer locks the app and you can basically do anything you want so you also need to make sure that uh, the photos app is locked so that no one plays around on tap or tempers with the settings that you have set and also remember that if once this is uh, set you can always open up like this and since it opens up the shortcut app let me just turn off do not display let me unlock my iphone so i'll turn off uh, do focus here and i'll show you what pops up when this is done so you can see that it shows uh, that it's a shortcut at running so anyone that is very smart will know that this is a shortcut and they can always go into your phone and go into the settings of your device and go to the automation and delete this shortcut and once this shortcut has been deleted then this will no longer work you can see the photos app is active and the person can basically view any image or any video so make sure you also if you are you're going to be using this make sure you also lock the apps that are involved lock the clock app and also lock your shortcut app so that people do not tamper with this in order for your apps to continue being and uh, being locked with face id or touch id now other than that that's how you do it you can see that it's very easy very simple to do if you like this video a uh, like will be good and of course don't forget to subscribe and stay safe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace